everybody. This time, instead of sending an image of next of tomorrow's training, um, I thought I would just go ahead and make a video. I'm gonna. Uh, we already did the first week Skype marketing. Um, we focused hopefully on mostly list building last week, which was the first of March. Tomorrow is the second week of the month where we cover Skype rooms, and there's a lot of subtopics here. Um, I'm inviting you guys to let me know what it is you want me to go over mostly. And uh, so if we expand the Skype room topics, we can go over Skype room life cycles. Um, we can go over, uh, there's so much here, creating Skype rooms, cloud versus moderated Skype rooms. Um, we could go over um, how to make a Skype room thrive, getting participation, monetizing it, building the culture, um, moderators, training moderators, the legacy uh, P2P moderated old versions of Skype that allow you to moderate. We could talk about that, how to prevent updates. <laughs> um, that's a service of mine, so I'm not sure how much we can get into that. I can give you an introduction to it. Um, if you want to move people from, from one room to another, if you want to graduate people, um, how to move a room. So the life cycle of a room is creation, thriving, and moving, and there's a lot in there. We could go over Skype tools and Skype rooms, um, or maybe you guys want to focus on joining new Skype rooms and um, learning more about what you can do with Skype rooms to build up your networking, maybe maybe even talk about Skype tools and uh, how you can find more leads with Skype rooms. So um, let's see, what else do we have here? Joining options, guidelines, notifications, um, having a Skype room notify you only uh, by keywords that are posted in the room, like your name or your niche, your business niche. Um, controlling sounds. Uh, I don't know if any of that how-to stuff is all that interesting to you, but I'm glad to answer any of those questions. Saving and finding rooms is what we did last month in the uh, Tuesday Skype training. Um, going to private message from a room. Going to a private chat. Very fast, easy ways of doing that. Skype calls and Skype rooms. I have someone who's asking me, how come I can't do Skype calls in my mastermind Skype room anymore. Um, I can explain that. Um, sending files and photos into a room. Um, <laughs> how to check the guidelines. Of course, you guys have seen that. But also how to join more rooms. Um, I don't even have that in here. But how to join more rooms. I wonder if I hit tab here if I can add that. Yeah. So. Maybe you want me to talk about Skype rooms and networking. Edit, edit, edit. Here it is. Networking um, with rooms. Something like that. How to find new rooms to join. Things like that. Joining. How to find rooms, Skype rooms to join. So I have a feeling a lot of you are going to want to that want to do that topic. So if you don't tell me you want to specifically learn some of these subtopics of Skype rooms, that may be what we do tomorrow, <laughs> which would be the second Tuesday of March 2016. And I do want to announce um, that the third week will be the 15th when I am traveling. So um, we probably are not going to have a training on the 15th. Theoretically, I could maybe on Thursday or later in the week, I could do a, I haven't scheduled it yet, so if there's enough people interested, I could tell the Skype hack recovery story because that is the third and fourth week is um, Skype um, hack recovery, safety and recovery, and also Skype updates and tips and new things that we're finding with Skype changing and basics, if you just want to learn basics. The third and fourth week, I kind of go over that. So we're going to skip next week, the 15th, while I'll be traveling. But um, normally we do Skype hack safety and recovery and Skype tips on the third and fourth week. So if I can do a Google Hangout on air talking about the last recovery where we had some very interesting things happen with a Skype supervisor, 
actually listening to some of my advice and recovering the account after a week of, I don't know how many verification forms we filled out and the, getting the same stupid answer of, so I'm going to use that word, but Skype support will tell you that you, if you can't verify your account, you should open a new account. And that is possibly a good idea temporarily, but the only thing you should do is recover. So I finally, after six or seven, or maybe, I don't know, up to 10 verification forms filled out for this guy, I finally recovered his account with a supervisor. I found a phone number and he actually listened to my advice. And I want to tell you that story. So I, if there's enough people interested, let me know, Skype me or leave a message below this video, <laughs> this video down here, below there, down there. Um, <laughs> Um, and let me know, leave a comment that you would be interested in a Google Hangout presentation of, or a YouTube video, which is what a Hangout will turn into, on that story of that Skype hack recovery. And maybe I'll even go over all the different common Skype hacks that we're seeing lately, from links to emoticons and blogs to bit mentions of bitcoins and um, links all by themselves, shortener links with your username at the end to Skype new messages. Um, calls. <laughs> it's been crazy. There's been so many different kinds of hackers lately. And the, the short, the link by itself with your username, it's a shortener link. You really want to know about those because there's a lot about those and you can tell your friends how to get their, their Skype back very quick. So if you're interested in the Skype hack, uh, safety and recovery presentation, let me know and I will schedule it for the second half of March. If not on a Tuesday, it could be on another day, but um, possibly that, that week of the 15th where I'll be skipping that one. So if you're interested, let me know, Skype me or leave a message below the video, leave a comment. Thank you. I appreciate it. You might want to subscribe. <laughs> where is that? <laughs> and uh, so you get more videos like this. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know first week, second week, third week, fourth week, what you want to learn from Skype marketing and Skype rooms, Skype Act safety and recovery, the silver lining that is great for networkers. We talked about the silver lining last month. Uh, really good stuff. So let me know each week what you want to hear. And uh, that's what I base the trainings on. So see you on Skype, everybody.